What's going on guys? Ryan here with Jetta Patrol. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new series by Jazzwares, the legendary 6-inch Fortnite action figures. We've got Wild Card, we've got Rabbit Raider. Let's open them up. That's right guys, Ryan here with Jet Patrol back with another video and my friends over at Jazzware sent me a care package. In fact, I showed up today and there was this huge box on the front door and it was unbelievable. It contained those figures I showed you, but uh, this is, look at this. They sent me a custom, a custom Jet Patrol box. Check this out. So we've got Jet Patrol, hashtag Fortnite IRL. Oh man, look at that. That's awesome. So we've got this cool thing. We've got drift on the side. we got this on the side and that on the side. And then on the top, we got like some building blocks. And they said I should keep this uh, for future packages and I can build my own wall uh, of Fortnite awesomeness. So uh, Jazzwares, thank you for that. But I'm gonna put this right there for a second and check a look at these figures they sent. Now this is a brand new series, guys. We've got Rabbit Raider and we've got Wildcard. These are brand new on the market. This is the first time being seen on YouTube. Pretty sure. Um, but uh, these are six inch figures. They have 38 and 40 points of articulation. Crazy accessories. I mean, just just awesomeness. I, I'm really happy with this. Uh, now, recently you may know them from their four inch line. We've checked out some of those uh, figures on the channel before. They've checked out their domes. We got piles of those. In fact, we got more domes videos coming. I've got a lot of those. Um, but this is a brand new line. This is their legendary six inch action figure line. And we're going to go ahead and open these up. All right. So, first off, off the bat, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. You can see here we got 40 points of articulation. We've got this awesome back bling. We've got a handgun. We've got three action four because there's one on the figure four interchangeable face plates which we haven't really seen in a six inch figure in a long time uh, for this price point it's kind of crazy so so we've got the harvesting tool here and we actually have a bazooka which is amazing again 40 points of articulation we'll take a look at every bit of that here in just a second but you can see the packaging is beautiful on the side we've got Fortnite, and you'll we'll talk about these hands here in just a second i think you're really gonna like that on the back, we do have some extra figures coming. We've got the Visitor, we got Skull Trooper, Havoc, Rabbit Raider, which we're also gonna take a look at today. And we also have the Enforcer. And I'm telling you right now, this is going to be epic. Let's go ahead and take this guy out of the box. You're, what you're gonna to wanna to do with this guy is actually just take it right out of the bottom. There's a piece of tape, cut that, and you just pull this flap out. And you'll see this right here. So we'll put the box right down there. So it does come in this little plastic blister pack, and uh, you can just pop these things right out. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we got this guy out of the package. So let's take a look at him here. We've got a pile of accessories here. We've got, obviously, we have a harvesting tool, which is pretty awesome. We'll take a look at that in a second. We have this back bling, which is actually a, soup, a briefcase suitcase, and I just knocked him over. But we have this briefcase here that actually has some handcuffs, like he's kind of, you know, you know what it's like, kind of attach people. We also have this awesome bazooka, which I can tell you the paint work on is fantastic. We got a little smiley stay, uh, stickers going on in the front. And it's got this like metallic paint going on with the warhead front of this thing. And I tell you, it's just, uh, there's a wash going over where the hand parts are, where the, there would be wood, I guess. And uh, they've done a really good job on that. We also do have a hand cannon. So that's a pretty awesome weapon, we'd like that. And the cool thing, I think which, above any of that stuff is these figures actually have interchangeable face plates. So this guy comes with four, he's got a heart face uh, mark on the, the face that he comes in the package. We also have a club, we have a diamond, and we have a spade so you can change out the faces for this particular figure. So that's pretty, that's a lot of accessories for a six inch figure, it really is. So let's take a look at the articulation. As I mentioned earlier, there are 40 points of articulation with this particular figure and there it's, it's crazy. I, I mean, if you wanna do photos, if you wanna do action shots, if you wanna have these guys battling each other, this is amazing. So we'll start at the top, we'll work our way to the bottom and I'll show you all this stuff we've got on. So on the head, we actually have a head on a ball joint and a pivot. So you can twist the head three 360 degrees if you want to do that you can absolutely do that you can have him look way up because there's a pivot there i mean look at that that's look at that that's that's pretty far up as far as looking down again he can look pretty good down that way uh, again 360 there pretty awesome this particular figure wild card has this vest on which is actually a pliable vinyl you can actually take this off and uh well i'll take this off so i can show you kind of what's going on underneath i'm just going to bend the arms backward like this and we're going to take this bad boy off uh it should just go off fairly simply and yeah there we go so uh the reason i want to show you this is because i want to show you some of the joints we got going on that comes right off you can see them right there kind of more of a, a sporty look 
Uh, but, I mean, look at that. This, whew, man, it's a good looking figure. All right, so again, uh, ball joint here, pivot joint. Here we've got butterfly joints on the shoulders. You can see that right there. Butterfly joints going back and forth. Uh, shoulders are ratcheted, so you can take this thing. You might even be able to hear this, I don't know. You might even be able to hear that, but they can go up about that far. Uh, which is pretty good on both sides. We can kind of get both sides going up there. Uh, they can go up a pretty good ways if you wanted to do something crazy like that. Uh, there is a bias whip swivel, so you can take this guy, you can rotate this all the way around. And then of course the joints on the elbows are double jointed, so we're gonna get pretty crazy posing going on. <laughs> that's, that's not a very good dab, man. That's, that's, that's not very good. Here, we'll do something like this. Here we go. Bam, there we go. All right, so you can actually dab with this guy. So double jointed elbows, pretty awesome on that front. Uh, the hands are particularly awesome, I'm not gonna lie. So there is a hinge joint on the wrist, and uh, of course you can swivel it all the way around. But something cool with the wrist that you may not have seen on other figures, and I'll put them against this white background, might be able to show it. But um, this is something I haven't seen before in a six inch figure. So I, I have quite a lot of toys, and this is something new for me. Uh, so I wanna show it with you guys. So on this hand, sometimes you have trouble getting them to hold weapons right sometimes you get them they just they don't want to work very well this particular guy has articulated hands so the hand right here actually opens way up if you guys can see that it opens way up there's a hinge right here at the uh, knuckles and you can actually open and close that to your liking uh, depending on what kind of pose you want to have going on. So that's kind of crazy, right? You can do all kinds of cool stuff with that. So you're not going to have any problems holding weapons. And uh, so you can hold like this uh, giant bazooka. You've got the hand cannon. You've got different tools. Obviously, you can open them up because without that hand, you would not be able to hold this. That, that wouldn't happen. So that's cool. We don't have to worry about breaking fingers, any of that kind of stuff. So that's awesome that they included that. That is something totally new and that alone right there, that feature alone right there is worth the price of admission on this, not gonna lie. So like I said, butterfly joints here. On the ab, you can see we've got a couple different joints here on the top part here. You got a pretty good crunch. Uh, he can actually look down about, let me see if I can get this arm down for us so that we can see a little better. There we go. Uh, but as far as ab crunch, you can go about down about that far. Uh, you can actually go uh, spin the lower hip joint 360 degrees. If you really want to do that, as far as turning wise, obviously he's going to be able to turn a lot. So he can go like, hey, what's up? You know, you can kind of look around. Um, so that's pretty awesome right there. Uh, hip joints. Now, we don't have any crazy hip joints. We, we have like normal looking hips. Nothing, no crazy molded stuff going on there. So that's pretty cool. Which allows us to do awesome stuff like this. Look at this. Bam. Splits. I mean, how many other six inch figures can you do splits? I'm just, that are under, you know, 50 or 60 bucks. That's crazy, right? Uh, so that's pretty awesome. We have a thigh swivel, so you can swivel this right here. Uh, double jointed knees, so you can go way back there for you can do this Fortnite dances. And obviously we got a hinge joint at the foot, but you guys know I love, love toe articulation and we got it. So we got awesome toe articulation right there. So that's pretty cool. So like I said, all the way around this guy's articulation, 40 points is above and beyond really what anything you'd expect for this price point, which is kind of crazy. So, uh, and to be able to take accessories like this off and not have uh, it hinder articulation is awesome. All right, so take a look at him. Just one quick pose. I got this guy and you can see he's got the hand cannon there and he's got his harvesting tool, but look at the actual mold on this figure. It is absolutely beautiful. You've got the buttons going down the vest. You've got the black tie. You've got the shiny shoes. I mean, just look at the mold. It's cool. I mean, you can see the mold there on the hand cannon as well. And I can tell you right now, this is absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to do some photos on Instagram of this guy. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that. But what I'll tell you about, let me flip this guy around real quick. Uh, with the interchangeable faces. So the way this thing works is actually just take this part right here on the bottom and you pull up and they pop right off just like that and you have four different interchangeable faces with this guy like i said this one was the heart face uh so we actually have the spade we have a uh, a diamond and we have uh, we have a club so i think we'll put the club face on him just for fun have some fun right there and they just snap right back on just like that i mean look at that that's just that's awesome absolutely awesome so he does like i said earlier comes with this uh, awesome bazooka he comes with this uh briefcase which is actually the back bling which pegs let me if I can get this piece off right here uh the back bling just pegs right back in here pretty easy to go and you can put, leave the vest on you can take the vest off totally up to you if, how you want to do it but the back bling looks amazing and uh that's wild card I, I think this guy is really cool like i said for the price point 
Um, this, the, the posability is endless. I can't wait to do some photos and I, I'm just, I can't wait to see what else they come up with because these, whew, man, these are cool. All right, let's go ahead and open up Rabbit Raider and see what that one's all about. Here's the packaging for Rabbit Raider. As you can tell, tons of accessories as well. Here we've got a couple interchangeable faces. We've got harvesting tool, grenade launcher, slurp juice, disco ball. I'm gonna get all kinds of cool stuff. So there's that. So there's the back. Check it out. Scary, cute Rabbit Raider. Let's go ahead and open this thing up again, just by the bottom. I've already done this. We're gonna unbox this thing right there. All right, we've got Rabbit Raider out of the packaging, and one point to note, there are 38 points of articulation with this figure instead of 40 on the last one because, well, he's got the fuzzy bunny slippers and there's no toe articulation there, so that's the difference in articulation between the two figures. Other than that, they are exactly the same, but obviously the skin is completely different and the paint's completely different and it's just awesome, I'm telling you right now. So one cool thing about this particular figure is this part right here actually comes off. This is just a soft vinyl, so this pops right off. It's not even connected, it just sits there. And look at that skull. Sculpt. Guys, look at that face sculpt. Now, you do not want to be messing with this particular guy. It's crazy. It is crazy cool. We got some grenades going on here on the belt, and uh, we got some more stuff going on here. It's got here his uh, back bling is a giant Easter egg. That is super cool. And I've actually got him holding the disco bomb right here. So, point of having those articulated hands is you can hold stuff like this. I mean, that's cool. I mean, what other figure you know can hold a, a, a um, disco bomb like this? And it actually, look, this actually has a little. Oh man, that's just, uh, just I don't know. I like cool stuff like that. All right, so there's uh, there's him. Now, like I said with the other one, uh, we do have uh, articulated, or I'm sorry, uh, interchangeable faces. Taking a look at the harvesting tool, you can see right here, it's pretty much just an Easter basket, but the detail, I mean, the wash on it, the paint app on it is just, I'm telling this is next level stuff for this, this size figure, guys. Uh, we also have a can of uh, Slurp Juice, and there is a slot right here so they can actually hold the Slurp Juice. So you can put that in his hand, you can actually hold that. We do have a grenade launcher, which is awesome. I mean, look at the wash effect on that grenade launcher. This thing's been through battle. It's been, uh, it's been shooting people. It's crazy. Anyways, I like that one too. And also we're gonna have a couple extra interchangeable faces. So we actually have a clean looking face uh, with no glasses. And which is pretty awesome. And we also have another one with glasses in case you want to actually uh, display with that. I am gonna leave the scary uh, mask on it just because I think that's pretty awesome. But we'll put this guy in a couple poses and let's see what we think about him. All right, so I thought this would be a fun pose to do as he's shooting a grenade launcher blindly and taking his slurp juice at the same time. I thought that was pretty cool. And you can see right there, he holds the slurp juice, no problem whatsoever. And he, again, you can see right there like the, the wash on the actual grenade launcher. It is crazy cool. I mean, look at this. You can get him in a kneeling pose, no problem with all the double joints going on there. And you can see like right here on the wrist, you can see like where there's mud and blood and dirt and whatever going on right there just a super cool figure all the way around all right so in this one i thought it'd be cool to have him actually holding his uh bunny uh hoodie and uh, having the harvesting tool in there i think that's super cool i mean look at the posability options when you have so many accessories guys you have so many posing uh abilities with the uh, double jointed everything i mean just look at this thing super super cool and i tell you what i, I i'm excited about these i really no joke i really uh, can't wait to see what else they come up with because right here this is next level stuff for six inch figures. I'm telling you right now, Jazzwares is gonna put the other six inch figure manufacturers, they're gonna give them a run for their money. All right guys, so wrapping up this video, we've got Wildcard and we have Rabbit Raider. And I can tell you these new figures by Jazzwares are crazy. And so I wanna say thank you to them for sending these to me. Uh, now they didn't pay me to make this review guys. They don't pay me to say these things about them. I honestly really, really like the articulation on these figures. And I, th I think the feel of them is something that um, it, it feels it feels good. I mean, I'll be honest with you, they feel solid. I don't think any joints gonna be getting loose anytime soon. I don't have, there are no loose joints on any one of these. The interchangeable face plates, the accessories, the, I mean, look, the sculpt, the mold, look at this thing. That's flipping beautiful, man. I'm telling you, this this guy's just scary. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Halloween comes around, that, that, that right there is going to be awesome. So um, stay tuned to my Instagram. It's at Jetta Patrol. Definitely check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. And I'll be posting a lot of photos of these guys, and I'm pretty excited about it. And the other ones they're going to be sending me sometime soon, when they're, I'm sure they will be. Um, whenever they come by, we'll definitely review those. But guys, comment down below. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. And uh, let me know what you think of this new line and if you'll be picking these things up. I hope you will because I think they're pretty awesome. Guys, as always, collect what you like. We'll see you next time.